Mikel, that looked a tense game out there. How do you sum it up? Well, we started the game, I thought, really good. Created three or four big chances. Then we had a period where um, we gave too many balls away and, and not had enough control in the game. Uh, we will score the goal, 1-0. Um, we started the second half really good. The first few moments, getting momentum. And then, obviously, it's that decision that changes the game completely. Yeah, I think the fans in the stadium were stunned at Declan Rice's sending off. What explanation have you been given for the red card? No, none, like always. Reading what was uh, given to us by the match centre, it was a second yellow card for delaying a restart. Are you satisfied with that, considering how much it can change a game? Yeah, if that happens throughout the game in a consistent way, that's fine. But it didn't happen in the first half. There are a number of occasions where they kick the ball away, nothing happened. So it's inconsistency, especially because as well it's in an area that is not critical. And on top of that, if you make that call, then you have to give a red card as well. Does it feel like a, a bigger blow as well to lose a player of Declan Rice's quality and, and how much that can actually change yeah, the game? They have to play with 10. And uh, if we had to play with 10, they had to play with 10 because then it's a red card on Bellman. So going into the next game after this international break, you'll be without Declan Rice and it's the North London derby. How much of a miss will he be? I don't know. We are thinking about only the, the game and analyse this game. So focusing on the positives of the game then, Mikel, another goal for Kai Havertz, another assist for Bakayo Saka. Are you continually seeing an improvement between the two players out there? Yeah, but it was unbelievable the way the team reacted because even with 10 men playing 49 minutes or 48 minutes like this, we should have won the game. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. I want to bring you this tweet from Oliver Holt because Mikel Arteta there referenced the, the lack of consistency there and Oli Holt saying as so often there is a consistency issue too. In the first half, João Pedro kicked the ball away in front of the dugouts after it had gone into touch. No yellow card. That's what correctly infuriates managers and fans. You, you can't say fairer than that. No, that's, that's the frustration. Like we said, you know, João Pedro kicks it away. Uh, there's another one, I think, where you know, the ball in their hands and, and you kind of retreat back and throw it high in the yeah, I mean, that's delaying play. There's so many factors to it. And obviously that hit, that changed the game completely. You know, Declan Rice nudges it away and in, you know, he has delayed the restart. So that does warrant a yellow card. But, you know, what, what Veltman does was, was obviously gamesmanship. There's no denying that. That was 100% a factor. There was no way in the world he's trying to play a pass there. He's trying to get someone sent off. At the end of the day, Brighton of uh, going back down to, to the south coast um, with a point. He also talked about how pleased he was with the way Arsenal reacted when they went down to 10 men, Martin. And they did have a couple of good chances, didn't they? Especially that one for, for Kai Havertz. Well, they did. I mean, they were pinned back into their own box for most of the time and then they were on the counter-attack. I mean, I mean, Havertz here does all this on his own. This is power, strength and then almost that precision, but the fantastic save from yeah. the keeper there. Stri sticks her foot out, uh, really stands up big. Um, and that, you know, I mean, he's done everything right there, Havertz, but score. He could have I thought Saka could have gone down there as well. You know, credit to him for staying on his feet, but he could have gone down there and it could have been a penalty. Yeah. I thought Havertz was brilliant, though, I have to say. He like, led, led the line really, really well. He's going from strength men. to strength here, Peter. Yeah, it really is. And that combination between him and Saka as well looks looks fantastic. They're playing, playing really well. And I think that as the guys were saying, it, rightly so in commentary, that ball was really punched in by Havertz there. Saka just couldn't make up the ground and it would have been... You know, it's, it's, you look at City and you think you've got to be perfect every week. So, you you know, we'll have to see how the season unfolds. Is it two points dropped or is it one gained? You know, there were backs to the wall for large periods. Brighton will be disappointed. It's a young group. You know, this manager, if he's in this situation again, will probably capitalise. So, all in all, I think both teams going away reasonably happy. Although Declan Rice now suspended for, for the Spurs game is a huge, very expensive afternoon for Arsenal. That's the thing. Does it feel more like two points dropped in the context of, of the fixtures that they have coming up with Spurs away and then Manchester City away in their next two games? Uh, yeah, potentially. I mean, it wasn't the game that we all thought it would be today. It was quite bitty. The sending off kind of changed it. They had two free-throwing uh, sides playing fantastic expansive football it wasn't the case today it was at times they had to grind grind the results out either either side I think Brighton found it difficult to break Arsenal down um, you know the manager came out here and spoke to us and and credit to him he wasn't happy with it with the point at, at one of the 
title favourites. So um, he, he was obviously pleased with, with the way they played, but um, you know, it could have been more for them. Even up to half-time, they had 55% possession. They're very clever, the way that they manage things. They slow it all down. They were hanging on in those first 10 or 15 minutes, no real protection for Hinshelwood on that, down that left-hand flank. They sorted that out, resolved it. Uh, it almost helped them a little bit, Milner going off to further slow things down. Arsenal lost their momentum. But I thought they reacted well in the second half. You concede, you know, a young group of players, you go a goal down at half-time. Um, he obviously, you know, got into his group and they got back in it. And then the, the sending off, of course, though, you can't tell me any different. This game would have been somewhat different if Declan Rice stays on the pitch. When we spoke a lot last season, Martin, you, you really felt that game away at Man City that Arsenal could have won. They, they had the opportunity to win. It came away with a draw. It was so significant in that title race. Can we already talk about these two fixtures? Two of Arsenal's hardest fixtures of the season in a context of the title race, or is it way too soon for that? The thing was, when the fixtures came out and you see that you're playing Aston Villa away, you're playing Spurs away, and you're playing uh, Man City away, you know it's, you, you've got to, be on, to be, have parity with Man City going into that game. You've got to win every single match. And there you find yourself against Brighton, they're re-emerging again, aren't they? Deserve a under, they, they fell away at the back end of last season. They've done really well. You have to applaud what Brighton do. They make all the right calls. This guy now is an outstanding manager. Tactically, he's very, very clever. So it was difficult for Arsenal today. Um, they live to fight another day. You know, let's see um, Moreno, a uh, bit of a disaster, getting injured. And then, of course, the sending off. It's been a double whammy and not a lucky start. For, uh, certainly not lucky Arsenal right now, but they've still got plenty to play for. Yeah, do you think the, the, the issue is Manchester City has set the bar so high that it feels like a draw at home to Brighton. It, you, you know, you're almost thinking, oh, is, you know, is that is it over? You know, I mean, obviously you're not going to say that right at the start of the season, but little little points. You might look at this at the end of the season and think this, these two points could be the difference. Already a dent on the touchline here today, Martin Keown and Peter Crouch watching it all unfold with me. We, we've talked about that sending off a lot. We need to to have a good look back at it, Peter. We're going to start with the first yellow card that Declan Rice got because that was also a, for a follow-through on Joel Veltman. That one, completely fine, fair, yeah, no, no issues with that. No complaints at all. You know, I'll let Martin take the second yellow, uh, but I'll clear this one up. Um, <laughs> it's a definite yellow card. He's bubbling He's up. <laughs> absolutely steamed into that tackle and I don't think you have any complaints whatsoever. Obviously, you have to look at that because we, uh, we know what happens next. Yeah, so he's on a, on yeah. a yellow card. Now, the, the second one, Martin, is because... He kicks the ball away here, not retreating when Brighton are trying to, no, to I, I save the that, free kick. I know that Declan actually knocks the ball away. Well, look, why is Veltman just knocking this ball into Rice's path? And where is, where is he supposed to go, by the way? And I actually feel it's, it's almost like a free punt. OK, I, do you know what? I'll do somebody as well at the same time. So the referee, I know the principle of this new law, they want to move people away from the ball, but it's also a responsibility to keep 11 players, both sets of 11 players on the pitch. And I don't really feel that that is a sending off offence. I, I don't think there's anyone in football that can tell you that, he, that they think he's genuinely tried to play a pass there. It's, the, the, the only, he's, tried to, he's tried to put the ball there so in the hope that he kicks it away. And then he's bringing it to the referee's attention, the fact that he has kicked it away. And, the, and obviously they, yeah. they got him sent off. So, at the start of this season, the, the players and, and clubs have been told that, that referees are going to take more robust action on, on delaying restarts. So, they're specifically looking at clear, deliberate actions that are impactful in delaying the restart. We, yeah, well, well, I'll show you impactful. That, that went one yard. And in the first half, I think it was João Pedro kicked a ball 30, 40 yards. Surely that had, that had more impact than the, got than away the Declan Rice one. Yeah, we can see well, it is. Yeah, this I mean, was it, it in about the first impactful. 20 minutes. So, João Pedro... So, that, there's no way in the world he's playing that, that ball other than to, to slow the game down. Um, so, if you talk impactful, that's had a much bigger impact than Declan Rice's one. But nobody's brought that to attention. You see Mikel Arteta trying to bring it to everyone's attention. Yeah. But, and where's the consistency then, of course? Yeah, exactly right. But, but by the letter of law, Declan Rice probably has to go because he spotted it and it's, you know, he's kicked the ball away. And here is Fabian Hertzler. Come out to, to join us. Right, Fabian. Congratulations on the point here away at the Emirates. Lewis Dunk at the end of the game just described it as so-so, taking a point. What was your assessment of it? It was an action-packed game. We felt a little bit disappointed, but um, to be honest, we didn't deserve to win here because we need to learn that 
if you want to win games like this, you need to be like consistent in all the actions. And uh, we lost our counter pressing in two, two situations. In the second half, we lost our, our rest defense in the second half two times where they also could score. Of course, we also had like big chances. And in the end, we need to learn like this consistency. But of course, um, it was a tough game, emotional game. And in the end, um, maybe two days later, we will be happy about the point. But now, at the moment, it feels a little bit disappointed. Yeah. I'd like to get your take on the, the sending off of Declan Rice because the momentum of the game really changed at that point. The Arsenal fans here were obviously furious at it. Can, can you just tell us what you thought and also what was told to, to you and your players at the start of the season about referees clamping down on, on delaying restarts? So what I saw, he, sh he shot the ball away. So it's a clear yellow card for me. On the other side, what we were getting teached and the referee uh, meeting was that the, the time the, the goalkeeper takes or the players take, it will be added on in the, in the additional time after the game. And I didn't understand how many minutes the goalkeeper take away from this game and why we only had like six, uh, six minutes. So that's something what I, what I don't understand. But for me, it was a, was a clear... Yellow card from, from Dick and Rice, the first one I don't remember, but uh, therefore, yeah, it's a clear... But Fabian, you, you'd have to admit, if one of your players was sent off in, in that same manner, whilst, whilst we're adjusting to these changes, I understand the principle of the rule, yeah, but I also feel Veltman as well, when you look back, he passes the ball into Rice's space, and it kind of, the ball's wrapped up in among him, and I, I feel the referee there could have just applied, you know, a sensible approach. Of course. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. You can be more sensitive in, in this situation. I agree. I completely agree. But in the end, you make this decision. Um, we don't complain about the, the yellow red card. We're more about the, complaining about, like, the, the time they waste. And for me... But the referee expensive. also makes a mistake because here now as right. well, I think this is maybe a booking. You're going to say, oh, what, what do you mean? But you can't be allowed just to kick someone just because somebody else. I mean, else Mart Martin's the really okay about this decision, Fabian. No, 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 <laughs> I'm being honest. I understand I well. this discussion. So yeah. you can also see it in another direction. We have to be honest. We can also say it's a, it's a yellow card for our player. You yeah? could mm. see that this or that. There's, I have no, no, no problem with, with uh, having an open discussion about the referee decisions. In the end, we have to be honest that it's our fault that we didn't win the game. We were one plan, a one man plus. Um, we made it good. But not good enough to win here, so in the end uh, we have to accept the draw and we have to keep going. We also have to, to learn out of, of these situations in the game, we have to, to learn to be consistent and that's the, the next step in our journey. You then capitalised on the man advantage, getting the equaliser. How good was the, the ball from Lewis Dunk? Yeah, amazing. I think uh, it's one of his uh, biggest strengths, playing like these balls. Also good run from, from Mite, so yeah, great play. Lewis Dunk mentioned, obviously, in the first half, he was slightly disappointed with the goal he conceded there. It was obviously nice to make that one up. Yeah, yeah. The movement of Minter there is fantastic, isn't it? How he runs yeah. into that space. They cross over. Yeah. And then, of course, the Arsenal defenders, then it causes a miscommunication. And then Gabriel maybe could come off his feet. And then you've got bodies in the box then following up. Pedro, today, we, he, we gave him man of the match. He did exceptionally well for you. Again? Yeah, he deserves it. No, Pedro is a, is a great player. Of course, also a little bit disappointed that he's not nominated for the for the Brazilian squad. But we tried to help him. We tried to improve him every game, and he he has a great impact on the team. He is a, an outstanding player for our squad, and he also works really good and out of position. So we only see in possession, but how he works for the team. Out of possession was also today outstanding, and I'm, I'm very happy for him. You, you lost James Milner to, to injury today. How concerned are you about your, your midfield options now? Obviously, you had the bad news about, about Matt O'Reilly in the Crawley game as well. I think the, the international break is good timing for us when we see that our midfielders are going away. But again, I always say like there are problems, but uh, there are no problems, there are solutions, and we have to find solutions. And I think we have a, a really good squad. We made like, some great signings. Now we have to use the time that the players can, can recover, can come back. And then hopefully in the next game against Ipswich, uh, we have more options for our six. But when we look at uh, Baleba and Yassin, how they came in, so very young players, uh, very talented players to, to play a game in a, against the, one of the best teams in the world at the moment, to have like this performance, it, it speaks for them and I'm very happy. Overall though, how satisfied with seven points for, from the opening three, bearing in mind you've played Man United and Arsenal away. Of course, and like I said before the game, that the coach always gets judged by the results. But I'm a coach. I try to focus on the process and how we play. And I think um, 
we always can do improvements in all phases of the game. So, for example, today defensive set pieces were brilliant. How we how we defended them. Offensive set pieces, we didn't get any chance out of an offensive set piece. So these are things where we can improve. I like the mentality because you've, as someone so young, you've come here and the result you've got. But you're looking, aren't you, to improve, to make changes. Yeah. Uh, you want it to be perfect, but I yeah. think you have to be happy today. Of course, of here. course. Yeah. As I also said it to the, to the group in the, in the locker room, like um, two days later, we will be happy about the, about the point. But I like also the feeling from the team that they have this disappointment yeah. in their mind because they, healthy. Yeah, they're ambitious. They, they want to come here and win this game. And that was the attitude and that was our goal. So we can be happy about the point for sure, but also a little bit disappointed. It's a good position to go into the international break. Thank you very much for, for coming out Thanks to join us. Well Thanks. done. Thank well you. Done. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thanks. Fabian Hertzler and his Brighton side taking a point away from the...